How's it hanging, everybody? So when I woke up this morning, I was staring at my phone, I was rubbing my eyes, and I saw something that just about made me jump out of the bed. And that is this video that you're seeing behind me. It is an HD 2D style remake of Chrono Trigger. And I was like, they did it. They actually came through with it. There was rumors that a Chrono Trigger remake was coming. It was on the way. It was recently yesterday. It was reignited by a new leaker who came forward with an alleged r leak rumor, whatever. And so, you know, it was believed that this game is real and it's coming. I don't know if it's real and it's coming, but when I saw this, I was like, they did it. Then I took a deep breath, sat down in front of the computer, started looking into it. And this is actually just a very, very convincing fan project from a self-proclaimed 3D pixel artist who goes by Dot, D-O-T-T. Apparently this person's based in Japan and I'm going to link to their Twitter and the YouTube so you can check all of this work out. It's great stuff. I mean, if this does not look just absolutely one-to-one -one like what you would expect Square Enix to do with something like a Chrono Trigger remake. I mean, this is spot on, man. Like, this is about as spot on as it gets. So, I was convinced that this was real this morning when I was delirious and in bed, but it's not. It's just, it's just really fun to look at. And it uh, is a good backdrop for the conversation that we're going to have today. So, I mentioned, of course, that Chrono Trigger is heavily rumored to be being remade for the Nintendo Switch. And I have some concerns to share alongside the extreme elation that I feel that Chrono Trigger is potentially getting a remake of any kind is of course great news. But I'm a little bit I'm a little bit worried about a couple of things and we're going to get into those. So first of all, let me be clear for me, Chrono Trigger is like definitive sacred ground. This is a game that I have loved since my childhood. And by the way, you know, one, one thing you might not know about me, if you watch my channel, is that I love JRPGs, and I really always have. As, excuse me, as a kid, I didn't really beat very many of them at all, because I just didn't have the patience as like, you know, a... 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 year old, I just did not have the patience to sit down and beat like all of Final Fantasy 7 or all of Final Fantasy 6. I would, I would, you know, play through the first like 10% of the game or something. And then I would usually sort of get intimidated and just stop playing. Um, so that was not a problem, however, with Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger was one of the games that I just loved it so much that you know I had to just I had to get through it and I did I beat the game in my teenage years and I was so happy with myself these days I beat JRPGs left and right but back in the day I just didn't have that patience so but this game was almost like a cure to my patience it's such a good entry point into the genre because it's just so well made it is so shocking how the how good the storytelling is how good the universe is the overall framework of the story the universe the you know the pacing of the game the combat is really good i, I honestly don't think the combat is really what drew me in but certainly the story the different characters the character interactions it's such such a wonderful tale and it's such a wonderful game. And many people call Chrono Trigger the best game of all time. Many people say that it is among the best games of all time. It's not quite my favorite JRPG of all time, but it is way, way up there. And so again, for me, definitive sacred ground. So when it, the idea of remaking the game is of course very exciting, but gives me a little bit of pause. So first of all, the one rumor that's happening is that this remake is going to be HD 2D in style, like we're looking at right now. Now, would I have any problem with this? And I mean, not really. Of course, I would be ex very excited to get an HD 2D Chrono Trigger. But here's what that move would tell me. For me, if Square Enix does this, they would be telling me 
that there's no big remake of Chrono Trigger coming. There's no real remake. There's no like, you know, Final Fantasy VII remake level of Chrono Trigger remake coming. Not that I would expect that to ever happen, but say something like, you know, look at like, um, what do you call it? Uh, Trials of Mana got a really nice 3D remake, a Super Famicom game, never came out here in the West. It got a huge honkin' remake and it's a great game. It was a great game on SNES and it's a great game remade in 3D. So we could get maybe something at that level or maybe even something in between like a Final Fantasy VII remake and a, tr and a Trials of Mana. Like if we were able to give Chrono Trigger like the Dragon Quest XI treatment and just have this, you know, big, amazing experience, beautiful, beautiful set design, um, captures that essence, that, that uh, feeling of the original Chrono Trigger, which was, is no small task, of course. And then, of course, we need Akira Toriyama designed character designs and models and everything. We kind of have to have that, I think, if we're going to do a big remake. But I kind of think we need a Kira Toriyama sort of no matter what. Because even when we look at this footage right here, you know, when I look at Chrono, when I look at the different things happening in this uh, little this little demo here, it doesn't look like a Kira Toriyama design to me. And I noticed that same thing kind of about the, the Dragon Quest three footage. And I just, I wonder about that. You know, Dragon Quest... Is very Akira Toriyama, Chrono Trigger, very Akira Toriyama. When you see the FMV cutscenes of Chrono Trigger, full on looks like, you know, Dragon Ball Z-ish, I guess, because of the, the way that the characters are designed, because that's the, the style of that, that artist. Um, and so I would love to see a more sort of fully realized Akira Toriyama-isms in this design if they're going the 2D HD 2D route because you know even though it's pixel design it's still more detailed pixel design than we had on the SNES you can expect them to go a little further a little deeper with that design so i mean i would love to see the that Akira Toriyama come through a little more i think that the game owes itself that i think Square Enix owes it to themselves to treat this project right and in my opinion that's the way to do it um, another thing that gives me a little bit of pause is, you know, the soundtrack. Because the soundtrack obviously is going to be remade, and the old SNES soundtrack is just so good. And it just hits a certain way, and I don't know if they're going to be able to perfectly recreate that without it ruffling a lot of feathers. I mean, again, there's a reason why the Steam version of this game has such, you know, got such low reviews at launch because you can't mess with perfection, man. You're going to pay the price. And one thing that has made me a bit fearful is that Square Enix sees those bad review scores on Steam and they say, oh, hey, you guys don't like Chrono Trigger after all. Like, look at look at the review scores. You're, you're you know, pooping all over this game. But at the end of the day, we're pooping all over the game because you disrespected it. You gave us a bad version of the game of, on Steam at launch. So people weren't happy about that and they voted with their reviews or whatever. Uh, and we're trying to send a message to the company that, hey, it's not that we don't like Chrono Trigger, quite the contrary. We just want to see justice to this series, which as you should know, Square Enix, Many people call this the best game of all time. They don't say that about too many of your other games. Maybe Final Fantasy VII, maybe Final Fantasy VI, but that's about it. Not too many people are calling other games in your, in your portfolio the best game of all time. But people sure say that about Chrono Trigger all the time. Look around here on YouTube. Look, look around on Twitter among anybody that you know appreciates you know retro games and RPGs like they're constantly talking about Chrono Trigger, especially if they're kind of like, you know, a little bit older like me. Um, you know, anybody that was around in the SNES era or anybody that was around perhaps in the DS era where this game got uh, re-ported to the DS and had, you know, reached a new number of, like a new fan base, basically. Um, this game is touted as one of the best ever. And 
it's you know got a couple of different generations the snes generations has a ton of reverence for it the ds generation and then the you know the new generation a lot of people have picked this game up on steam a lot of people have emulated this game so i want the game to be in the best state possible and it's just ooh, it's a tall task so the voice acting is the next thing I want to talk about. We talked about the music. We talked about the concerns about the art style of HD 2D. Is it right for Chrono Trigger? But let's talk about voice acting because these HD 2D games have had voice acting. The idea of giving Robo and Luca and Marl and, well, Chrono is mostly silent, but the idea of giving this gang voice acting is a little bit scary. Like, it didn't bother me at all, the voice acting in, like, Live Alive, because I didn't have that nostalgia for Live Alive. I was experiencing it as, as a totally new experience. And so, of course, the voice acting was A-OK -okay with me. And the voice acting was good in that game. But I think it's going to bother me a little bit to have that kind of that kind of move done for Chrono Trigger. I don't know. I'm probably overthinking it. But, man, I would love to see... I mean, I guess what I'm saying is I would probably just turn the sound off. I would probably turn the voice acting off because I would just be a little too, like, squicked out by it. I mean, I, I would give it a shot, but I feel like I would ultimately just end up wanting to turn that off. But, of course, I think they will have a toggle so that we can do that. So that's not really such a big deal, the voice acting, but worth mentioning, I think, in the context of this video. So those are my main concerns about a potential HD 2D remake of Chrono Trigger. What I would really love to see, the dream, is as I described earlier, a full 3D remake of Chrono Trigger would be amazing. It has to be done right, of course, no small task. But I think if they decided to make a 3D re remake of Chrono Trigger, they would know what they're getting themselves into. I would love to see that. I would also love to see just like a more competent port of the game because currently we really only have the game on Steam and mobile, I guess, but you know, the Steam version, it's just not perfect. It's not perfect. It's a port of the very, very imperfect mobile version of the game. They've done a number of patches over the years, and it's definitely gotten better, but it's just still not perfect. I would go as far as to say that it's probably the definitive version of the game because it's just, you know, accessibility. You can play it right there in Steam. A lot of people have Steam. I've been playing it like here and there on my Steam Deck. So there's that as well, but it needs to it needs to be cleaned up a little more because there's still glitches in this version of the game. Sometimes the text looks wrong. Sometimes there's there's artifacting around the text. Sometimes the movement of the character on the screen has a little jitter, just just ever so slightly has has something going on, and it's a little bit disappointing. It's not bad. It's competent, but I, it needs to be more competent. It needs They need to clean the game up. So I would love to just see a basic port, either fix this Steam version and port it to the Switch and PS4, Xbox, or just remake the game from the ground up. Or I would even suffice, I would even be satisfied with just bringing the original Super Nintendo game to NSO, to Nintendo Switch Online, because, I mean, if I'm being real, I think that the Super Nintendo version is almost the definitive way to play because you know the ds version brought in a couple of extra dungeons and those are not good dungeons they're not good content they're going to drag down the experience or at least they did for me i think that the the core experience of chrono trigger is perfect and i think the additions they brought in the ds version made it a little bit imperfect so I say the SNES version is like maybe a little better, but I would love to have it widescreen. I would love to have it with like, you know, a few quality of life improvements would be cool. But ultimately, you know, we just need the game in some form. And I hope they don't abandon the original game. We really need to see the original game brought back in some form. So I guess that's maybe my final point that I want to make is that an HD 2D remake could mean the abandonment of the original game, which is perfect. So that's that's another thing that worries me just a bit. But ultimately, I'm not that worried about any of this stuff because I just really want Chrono Trigger to get the recognition, the representation that it deserves in this day and age. I mean, they really did the they really did the game dirty with that that original port. 
uh, of on Steam rather. With that Steam port, they did the game dirty. They disrespected it. The company did. And now they've got all this negative baggage with the game because they tried something it didn't work out very well. So now they've probably been reluctant to bring the game elsewhere. What do we do with this game? That's the ultimate question. It's like, this is, you know, Nintendo's got Mother 3 and Square Enix has got Chrono Trigger. Like, what do we do with Mother 3? What do we do with Chrono Trigger? I just don't think they've really known. They haven't had a lot of direction, but maybe they finally got it together with this remake. And man, I just played this game just a few months ago, but I would gladly play through it again. I would I would gladly give this game priority over all the other games in my backlog, like other than maybe Tears of the Kingdom, which I'm still working on. But after Tears of the Kingdom, if this one's sitting on my Nintendo Switch waiting, ready to go, it, that's exactly what I'm playing next. This, this game gets high, high priority for me. But anyway, guys, thanks for checking me out. This was just a little casual chat rambly as usual uh, but anyway uh, i would like to hear what you guys think about this alleged rumor this alleged leak of chrono trigger do you think it's hd 2d do you think that maybe it's a more simple port of the game do you think it, this snes version is coming to nso and it's all been a big misunderstanding or do you think that it doesn't exist because of course that's a big possibility too i would love to hear what you guys think down in the comments below thanks for checking me out see you later